Charlie Chaplin is widely considered as the greatest comic artist of cinema. He is also considered one of the most important cultural figures of the 20th century, becoming a global icon thanks to his on-screen character, The Wanderer. But beneath the slapstick veneer was a darker personality, a Charlie Chaplin described by many who knew him personally as insensitive, abusive and sadistic. If you bring to the cell your notorious demands while filming and an unsettling predilection for blessings when you are trying to love, it is not as easy as Charlie Chaplin is to acquire the reputation of an individual who is tyrannical and obsessed with himself, a man who raises even more adulation than controversy. Charles Spencer Chaplin Jr. was born in London, England, on April 16, 1889. Charlie Chaplin's childhood in London was spent in poverty and hardship. The young man had a complicated start to life. At the age of 13, I abandoned these studies to launch a career in show business. At the age of 26, Charlie Chaplin is one of the most famous people in the world. Known internationally for his vagabond character, he earned the astronomical sum of 16.5 million euros, equivalents made with the value at the time. Taking advantage of his global renown and of his incredible wealth, Charlie Chaplin evolves in high society on both sides of the Atlantic. He indulges in expensive hobbies and takes full advantage of his celebrity status. Charlie Chaplin's first wife is the actress Mildred Harris. She was 16 years old and 26. She became married in 1918 and divorced in 1920. She married a child, but she died three days after her birth. In her writings Della Della Della, the very young Mildred Harris evokes the mental cruelty of Della as the reason for their separation from her. Charlie Chaplin, for his part, accuses her of infidelity and complains that she is not his equal Della on an intellectual level. Charlie Chaplin met Lita McMurray for the first time at the age of eight. At the age of twelve, he played the role of a flirting angel in her film The Kid. Three years later, he played in the film The Gold Rush and began an affair with Charlie Chaplin, almost 35 years old. Lita McMurray, still a minor, quickly becomes pregnant by Charlie Chaplin. To avoid scandal, the couple married secretly in November 1924 and they had two children together. But the union experienced ups and downs from the start and eventually ended in divorce. The couple is present in court to plead their cause. Charlie Chaplin is finally condemned to pay 10 million euros, value adapted to the current currency, to his ex-wife. To show that Charlie Chaplin had matured emotionally, he set his sights on a woman in her 20s. In fact, Paulette Goddard was 22 years old when she met him, in 1932. He was more than 20 years older than her. They married in 1936 and had no children. She filed for divorce in 1942, although when she was satisfied with her departure. After his separation with Paulette Goddard, from other liaisons with various stars in their own right, notably a liaison with Joan Barry, which is sold for two gross interruptions in a process in parenting intention against the actor, after 54 years, after having denied being the father of Joan Barry's child, Carol Ann. In 1943, Charlie Chaplin starred Una O'Neill, the 18-year-old daughter of Irish-American playwright Eugene O'Neill. He was around 50 years old at this time. In his autobiography, he describes meeting Una O'Neill as the happiest event of his life and claims to have found perfect love. The couple gave birth to eight children in 18 years and remained married until the comedian's death. Charlie Chaplin remains a controversial character throughout the years 1950. As long as you filmed it, Charlie Chaplin is still demanding of him, insisting on the prize to obtain the perfect scene. During the filming of The Countess from Hong Kong, in 1967, he even tried to enrage Marlon Brando, who later expressed his dismay at the artist's didactic style and authoritarian approach. Charlie Chaplin left us on December 25, 1977 at his home in Switzerland at the age of 88. More than ever after his death, there remains a final macabre act to play out in his long, often controversial life. On March 1, 1978, the actor's grave was dug up by two thieves who then tried to extract money from the widow Una.